Okay, in this video, we're going to go over something called the bucket game. Now, the bucket game is actually designed for cooperative care. This is something a lot of vets do with dogs. It's a way for the dog to actually communicate to the vet that it is uncomfortable with being touched or interacted with. But we're going to use this same principle to actually teach your puppy to stay in a sit as you lower the food bowl. And this is a great way to delay gratification, helps your puppy practice a little patience instead of lunging for things or jumping up and knocking the bowl of food down. It's going to sit there patiently and wait. Now when you are doing this game, it's important your puppy is slightly hungry, but not very hungry. Matter of fact, the first couple times, I would actually make sure your puppy is not hungry. That way it's motivated to get the treats because puppies like treats or kibble, uh, but they're not really lunging for it. But if you do it when they're overly hungry, their patience level is gonna be a lot lower. They're, sh they're gonna probably be more likely to jump up and get impatient, move around and grumble. So try to do it the first couple times you do it with your puppy, maybe about an hour after you fed them. Uh, try to do it, remember we like, for puppies, we like to feed them four times a day. So try to do it uh, about an hour after each meal for the first maybe two or three days. At that point, you can start doing it different times a day and eventually doing it, working up to the point where you're doing this right before you actually of feeding them, but we first establish the behavior and then we can start adding the criteria. Now in order for Ollie to do this, all I want Ollie to do is basically to look at this bowl. So I'm going to raise it out of his reach, he looks at it, I take a treat out and I give it to him. I'm going to move it, wait for him to look at me, I move it to the same level, wait for him to get done chewing, then I look, he looks at it, and you want, you want him to get five times where he can move it before you start lowering it down. Now, I did that last time we filmed this as well. Make sure you're putting the treat in the puppy's mouth. The goal, the puppy has to have four on the floor. Ollie, sit. So since that was my fault, we'll, we'll say you're still at three. So instead of the puppy having to jump up to get to the bucket, the treats are going straight to the dog, so he doesn't need to do anything other than sit there. And so we're rewarding him using positive reinforcement just to keep him to sit there. Next stage is I'm going to lower it a little bit more. He looked at it. Who gets a treat? Now you could also mark the look. Good. Good. When you're doing this, make sure you don't have a high uh, uh, environment with a lot of movement. Good. Because that's going to attract your puppy's attention. That's going to cause some problems. Good. So gradually you're going to do, I usually start about my high, uh, a little bit above my shoulders, then a little bit below my shoulders, about in my torso, sit, and don't wait too long. As a good illustration, I waited too long, and the puppy is going to come up and say, what's the hold up, man? Why don't we give me more of those treats? And I'm doing this with treats, but you could do this with kibble. And I actually would recommend doing this with kibble and doing this before mealtime. So you see, instead of the puppy jumping up, Ollie's just content to sit there, because sitting there is what is being rewarded. Now, the lower you go to the ground, the harder it's going to be. So you might actually have to do this the first couple of stages where you never actually get it to the floor. That's okay. Remember, the end result is what we're looking for, not the speed of the result. Good. So remember, mark for the look. Good. Not for when you get the treat. Good. Good. And try to be careful not to hold it super close to their mouth. Good, because that's going to be more tempting. It's going to make it harder. Eventually, it'll be nice to work up to that. Right now, you want to keep a couple feet distance, whatever, good, whatever amount of distance that you need in order for the puppy to stay there. Good. Good. Now, I'm cheating a little bit because we're trying to make this a little bit faster video. But again, good. Five for five. So four or five times in a row before you lower it. Uh, and that's a good example. So what I just did there, raising the bowl, that's called a ne uh, negative punishment. That means I'm deducting something in the equation. You do not want to do that. That meant I moved too fast. And again, this is a video uh, where we're trying to do it all in one shot. So it's not a reasonable goal. I would expect this probably going to take you about two to five times before you can actually place that bowl on the ground. And then you can encourage the puppy to come over and get it. And if you want, you could actually assign a command word when you actually do this. Sit. Lasagna. And then the puppy comes over and eats the food, pork chop, whatever your favorite food is. All right, this is how you can use the bucket game or a version of the bucket game to teach, teach your puppy a little bit of patience and to wait patiently uh, to get their food as well as a nice exercise to help them develop a little bit of self-control.
Quest, you are a goofball.